thank you very much, um, Andy, for coming in. Yeah, that, uh, hi, lovely to meet you. Thank yeah, you. you too, you too. We've heard a lot about you. Yeah, I'm really, really excited to be here. It's uh, uh, great. Honest. Not only are you a well-renowned actor, mm. Mm. you're also a fantastic voice actor yeah. as well. We've heard yeah. you do voices mm. before and other things. So, straight away, we'd like to offer you the part of Gollum. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Th- it's thank a big you so much. It's pivotal in the show. We'd, li- we'd like to hear your... The voice that you have for God. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I uh, practiced this at home, and uh, the family love it. They said, um, you know, I, I blew them away, if you will. Oh, wow. So, okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, um, very exciting. Okay. Is there any kind of uh, anything in specific that you'd like from the character? Oh, yeah. Well, we were thinking that um, his, his line that keeps on coming back is my precious. Mm-hmm. He's talking about the ring. It sort of needs to be keeps iconic. On giving. Keeps gotcha. on coming back. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So how would that go? So you want me to just... Yeah, just have a little play with it, you know. No pressure, obviously, we're... Think like, I'm a pressure! Uh, <laughs> sorry about my colleague, he's... Uh, Why is he laughing? No, it's fine, it's not what we were expecting. Um, <laughs> Can we try, uh, try it maybe once more? Yeah, sure, I mean, There's, it's um, quite distracting, because he... No, it's fine. Okay. Is he alright? He's very sensitive about these okay. sorts of things. Can we try it just once more and just see if you can inject a little bit more? Yeah. Uh, it he, just feels quite young. Is Maybe he just, weeping? Could you just, he's fine, just right. age it up a little bit. A- young? Okay. No, yeah, it feels young, yeah, just make it a little bit older. Absolutely. Maybe. I, I'm try not that. that young, you know that. No, 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 no we know, we no, know, that's fine. You're, you're the character is older. Yeah, yeah. And Gollum's not that young either. No, so. no. 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 No, he's quite he's old, older than you. You can, you're an actor, so you can do that. Yeah, age it up. Just try it once more. My precious, here we go. Uh, so, more uh, order, okay, um... Just go straight for it. Magnificent! <laughs> I like it. I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing but love, Eight Days a Geek. Hello and welcome to Eight Days a Geek. We're back and we are now finally moving on to another Lord of the Rings film. <laughs> finally, after three parts, we are looking at Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Oh. I'm AJ Jenks and I'm here with Ben Fryer and Chris Weeks. Wonderful. And here we are. We're finally taking on the next film. Weirdly, Star Wars. We managed to smash through those films. Lord we of the Rings. race through. Will I didn't reference a... the novelizations, that's why. That's why. Will yeah. this be one part or will it Absolutely be... not. <laughs> well, not, not a thousand really. years, no. no. It will be as many parts as it needs no. to be. Yeah. I tell you. Right. Um, ben Pryor, tell, tell the ladies and gentlemen where we are. Yeah, so, I mean, we're always in a different environment. Uh, Same environment. Because no? we are on tour with the uh, Buddy Holly story, which is awesome. And uh, we are currently in the centre of Birmingham, in the Alexandra Theatre which is a wonderful theatre, and we got a lovely dressing room here. We do. Not as noisy as Windsor. No, it's no. still a little bit noisy. A little bit noisy. It's a little bit. But uh, it's quite luxurious here. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's a lovely room. It's great to be here in Birmingham as well, because that is where I am from. So I am home, Great to be say. here in Birmingham. <laughs> exactly. Birmingham, Alabama. And, uh, Not that and, uh, I, 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 I must say, um, it's great to be back podcasting with you, gentlemen. Thanks, oh, mate. That's we, really we look sweet. forward to this, don't we? It's we do. our highlight of the week. We do. It's a nice thing to do. It is. In case anyone is listening from the show, we love the show as well. What, buddy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Cr- <laughs> Crikey, I mean, that's my major highlight, but this is like a highlight as well. Okay, fair, fair enough. Fine. Can't that's argue with that. My, my whole life's a highlight. It's weird. Right, <laughs> glad you enjoy your life, so, bro. The Two Towers, what are your thoughts? What are your feelings when you first, if you remember? first watching this film because this I remember is, very well this is always going to be an interesting one kind of like we did with Empire it's the middle it's the middle film. film there is no start and no ending but it's a lot of people's favourites yeah a lot of people's favourites mm. and it is unbelievable let me ask you this question did you or do you remember the trailer for the two towers I do remember the trailer do you remember yeah. the music that they had because it wasn't Lord no. of the Rings it was dun, 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 it was Requiem for a dun, Dream dun, dun. That was the really yeah. It was it's called Requiem for a Tower. It's a really amped up version of the Requiem for a Dream theme. It's unbelievable. Was it uh, written for the trailer? No, it was adapted because yeah. I think Requiem had come out a few years before, and for some reason they tra- chose it as their trailer music yeah. and didn't have Lord of the Rings music in it. Well, they did. Bizarre. They did in the early part of the trailer, but when it really started kicking off, and you had Helm Steep, and that big moment of da 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 is when yeah. the wall explodes in the trailer, nice. and it's always been blazoned, emblazoned into my memory mm. because it was amazing. Nice. I had no idea what that music was for a, a three or four years afterwards, and I was like, I, yeah. I remember this trailer, and it's quite hard to find online. 
Uh, and that took me to Requiem for a Dream. I yeah. wouldn't have seen that film except for the Lord of the Rings trailer. Isn't that weird? Exactly. Yeah. But oh my god, amazing! Isn't that music also used in the X Factor? I mean, it's used in everything. Though. Yeah, I don't know if it's used in the X Factor. Yeah. But one of those things pop uh, introducing some. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In fairness, it could be. Yeah. So we start off. Yeah. We finish Fellowship of the Ring. Mm. The credits come up, and we are, you know, we're taken around in kind of an establishing shot of mm. mountains. Yeah going through and then we start hearing a few lines that maybe we recognise yeah. from the great uh, Gandalf yeah great. you shall not pass yeah get out and then bang we're suddenly there and we see this incredible you're right sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you not I cannot remember that <laughs> of course I do <laughs> that distracted me it's cool um, though yeah. and the, the shot flying around the mountains is unbelievable yeah. oh, this amazing. is pre-drones amazing. of course that's the thing and we come closer and closer to the mountain and then yeah. go through into the mine yeah. and bang from we're the- there at that little scene in Moria where, you know, which was there in Fellowship of the Ring, and we see the normal stuff. Mm. We've already yeah. seen this. Oh, we go, oh, I've already seen this. Yeah. 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 Seen this. What's going on? Are they just Crikey. playing the same film oh. and starring at different B oh. roll footage? And then he falls, <laughs> and then suddenly, bam, you oh. are there. We're so going with it. see everything. Amazing. Now, just, that, what an amazing choice. Yeah. yeah. And I remember it so well, <laughs> um, watching him fall, and cinematically beautiful. Yeah. Just the way that they're fighting and falling into the mm. oh, there's fire and there's everything it's amazing yeah do you remember the ring of the metal sword as it flies through the air and he grabs it glamdering yeah, the sword yeah, do you yeah, remember yeah. that yeah oh awesome wonderful and um, magic as it's flying in that bit. just like above him and then slowly yeah. comes down and he, just and he changes his like body angle to go faster and to yeah. catch up with the barrel mm. absolutely incredible superman-esque it, it, I mean it is it's yeah. you know this is Gandalf um on a different level, really. Yeah. He's just well, like, right. I suppose this, this is now. this is Gandalf just being a, being what he actually is. Yeah, or as close as he can get. Yeah, and yeah as absolutely. you said last time, he's met his match in. He as has. Far as They're literally in the order of the natural world within you know Middle Earth. They are the same level. Yeah. They're both yeah. Maya, yeah. which is yeah absolutely astonishing. And he's lost his staff, of course, yeah, as well, so which he uses to like channel all the stops. With yeah, the but then, but we don't actually see the full fight at the start. Of the no. Mm. It, Blacks out, and then we see Frodo wake up. Yeah. Go, ah! Is it when he falls into the water? Is that yeah. when it blacks out? Yeah, we I remember see that so well. The shot far back, and we see them oh, both yeah. coming down. And it's you a little get, light that you see. Yeah, down. you get the feeling of the scale of yeah. the fall. And then the camera down. aims at the water, and it's yeah. like a shaky cam, and then he wakes up. Amazing. So, the interesting thing about this part of the film, the very, very beginning, is that um, do you remember the prologue at the start of the first film? Yeah. So, New Line, the uh, production company, wanted Peter Jackson to have another prologue at the start of this one to make sure everyone knew what had happened up to this point. Sure. And he absolutely fought against it. Yeah. It's a really interesting thing because it's the opposite of, um, of the first film where Peter Jackson really wanted the prologue and New Line were like, yeah. no, absolutely not. So, this is topsy turvy. Yeah. Peter, Peter Jackson wanted to get straight yeah. into the action, and fortunately, he won. Because, you know, you've got that 30 seconds of flying around in the mountains and then you're right back yeah. in to this unbelievable <clears throat> moment. Possibly the most action we've seen in the two yeah. films so far. Well, that's that's huge action. That's the yeah. thing is that, like Empire, Empire, you're banged straight in. Mm. You know, you're yeah, that is off. true. And then with Lord of the Rings Two Towers, bang, you're straight in with Gandalf. Into the, the middle of the action. There's yeah. definitely a theme there, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. I think that's how you make a second movie good. You have to pick them up straight away. So yeah. Like, okay, we're on then. Yeah, and, and sort of assuming forward. that everyone's seen the first. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah. You just go straight in and just and, and just go. There's no catering for no. people that may have missed it or anything. And You're now, absolutely right. Now we're with uh, Frodo and Sam yeah. on their little journey. And in the MN Will. Yeah. A maze and a labyrinth of razor sharp rocks. Yeah. And I, I mean, I don't remember. Well, I do remember. But I always remember kind of being like. For some reason, as it goes on, the Frodo and Sam stuff in the Two Towers slightly bugs me. Oh, why? I don't know. It's it seems to. Sl- I mean, it's just because my favourite characters are going to be like Legolas and Aragorn. Right. So I'm always sure. wanting to see their story. Yeah. I'm wanting to see them, and then their scenes go on for quite a while as yeah. well. Yeah, they and do, and they're slow paced. Yeah. Frodo starts to get a little whiny. Mm. Yeah. Which kind of annoys He's me. He's being but, consumed more by the ring. Yeah. As, as, yeah. Exactly, yeah, and then we meet uh, Smeagol. Yeah, the well, first of the new characters. Not, I mean, not Smeagol at this point. No, no, not at all. He's 100% been, Gollum, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's Gollum. Yeah. But 100% Gollum. 100% Gollum. <laughs> and what did you guys think of when you saw 
Gollum for the first time. Well, he looked different to how he looked in the first film. Yeah. When we only saw that tiny little... You see the glint in his eye. Yeah, yeah. in Moria, isn't it, yeah. when, he, when he's following them. Uh, but, I mean, one of the most astonishing creations. It's yeah. an incredible character. It's unbelievable. The character's unbelievable, but the technology yeah. is uh, it's out yeah, of this so world. Was it, was it the first motion capture that had been properly... Well, it wasn't. Scale? If you think of Jar Jar Binks sure. in 1999... But yeah. everyone sort of disregards Jar Jar because he was sort of universally reviled. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that was. But I mean, the same I, thing. As far as taking someone's facial, um, you know, part of his face. Well, and, yeah. Because that is with Gollum and. And it's the it's the next level, isn't it? Yeah. Because uh, Ahmed Best was there in the scenes in Star Wars in the Phantom Menace yeah. with he had the head. He had the head up here, him. and then everything was done. And of course, it of wasn't that. made to look like him. No, no, no. Of course not. Yeah. Well, we certainly hope not. No. <laughs> but um, but think, yeah. As an actor as well, talking about Gollum, it's just, that's a dream. It is. It's terrifying. Yeah. It's such a You get to use everything in your arsenal with Gollum. Yeah. You get to go all out. Yeah. And it would just be incredible. The very depths of humanity. His storyline and his backstory as well. It's just, there's so much to play. Yeah. That he's been haunted, he's been tortured, Mm. he's been everything. Yeah. You know, and... It, and he's lived for so so long yeah. tied to the ring and to play that character in just a green yeah. suit mm. that's a horrible bodysuit yeah. yeah how the well it wasn't it was grey wasn't it yeah it was a, yeah. Yeah. and he had a GoPro in front of his face yeah. yeah. whoever saw camera with loads of dots it must have been so different I, I haven't met Andy Serkis before have you really yeah. wow. Yeah. wow that's amazing what, what did you say on a red carpet we were sitting together watching oh, here we go. a film what film? You were saying together? Well, his wife was... Andy, Andy, come stick with me. Come on. <laughs> his wife was next to As me. And he was, he was on the next one. And I just went up to him and was just like, just got to say, <laughs> I know this is awful. <laughs> that Gollum thing. <laughs> but, oh. but, wow, those movies and what you did is an absolute inspiration. It, I mean, and he was just really nice to me. Oh, thank you so much. That's really oh, kind wow. of you. Yeah, of course. I wonder really when nice. that gets tiring as an actor. I think I mean? he always seems a very humble yeah. kind of guy. Well, he comes from humble background, doesn't he? Yeah. And um, he's, he was never a, you know, a rider boy or anything like that. Mm. So he never had big aspirations. I don't think he just worked and worked. Yeah, he lo- uh, he loves well. the work. Yeah, which and, which really comes across because there's such yeah. dedication. It's the same of everyone in these films. The same of everyone, yeah. and that is like the pinnacle of it. Yeah, because. Um, the the, uh, the one I really remember is do you remember when he's splashing around in the water? Yeah. Um, it snowed the previous day, and so when they arrived for the shoot at like seven in the morning or whenever, uh, there was still snow on the ground, and Peter Jackson had it all cleared, and he was still splashing around in that water. Yeah. Freezing cold, and yeah. imagine how long that that shooting um, yeah. day would have been. Yeah. At least five hours yeah. of just that that shot in the in the water. It's amazing. Unbelievable. He would have had to have been like an athlete to be able to yeah. survive that long. It's crazy. I think it was it was like that. It was an yeah. endurance test as much yeah. as anything else. But yeah, but so Peter Jackson wanted um, hired him for the voice initially, mm. uh, and then when he saw what he was doing, he was like, no, I want to have, I want to have yeah. his motion captured yeah. as well, which had never been done. And so Wera, the um, visual effects well, workshop. Yeah suddenly had to create Weller, this character. Paul Weller, yeah, amazing. Great. Amazing. Yeah. They bring in the best, though. He's talented. You know? yeah. Oh, he's a great guy. He's a big talented. And so they suddenly had to put together this character, which is why he doesn't look the same in the um, Fellowship of the Ring, of course. Wow, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really interesting. But they, uh, oh, yeah, they smashed it. And what then performance. We then move on to, um, to our boys. Yeah. Boys. To the old Gimli, Legolas and Aragorn. Mm. Still tracking... A pack of Urukai. Yeah. Urukai. <laughs> They've moved into now, Rohan. You? Well, Put your boys back. Yeah. You got your boys back, can yeah. I? And they're legging it. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, give me said his cheeky lines. The pace yeah. is completely oh, different. We dwarves are not natural sprinters! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I love it. That's think, great. Those three together are so good. Yeah. It's brilliant. And just that whole scene where they're chasing them and then the Orokai, you know, it switches over to them. Yeah. You see Mary and Pippin and stuff like that and they're not doing real well. No, they're really struggling. And then we're jumping back. I mean, carried. Mary in particular is struggling, isn't it? And then we get that establishing shot of just watching the three of them just Ah, go over with the thing. Here we go again. It's a lighter thing, isn't it? (laughs) It, Yeah, it's much lighter. (laughs) He's he's kicking off. (laughs) 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 
But they're in Rohan now, aren't they? Yeah. They've, cr- they've passed into Rohan. We are in the, the land plains of Rohan. of Rohan. And uh, Aragorn stands at the top, looks over, and he goes, Rohan. Yeah. What's he say after that? <laughs> Uh, so he's about, about the home horse, of the horse lords, horse lords yeah. yeah which because the land is so vast and there's nothing yeah. there they, they've, they've tamed these horses obviously and they're yeah. the masters of it and uh, it's a completely different civilization to anything that we've seen before so far yeah. because it's a kingdom Bree wasn't obviously wasn't a kingdom yeah. the hobbits live their own little life this is the first interaction we have with uh, a kingdom that has a king at its yeah. king, and it's the men this is the land of yeah, men yeah this is now. the land of men absolutely it's bigger it's scarier yeah uh, yeah, absolutely. It's right, actually. In Fellowship, you never actually see that no. at all. You get hints of what it's like, but yeah, yeah you never get it, really. And, and you see the elves, but... Yeah. It's funny, it's, it, it's an interesting thing that we come through all of that to get to the world of men at this point, in the yeah. second book, you know. We yeah. wasted a long time for it, really. And I was yeah. thinking how different the elven kingdoms were to the, uh, the kingdoms of men anyway, so we don't have <clears throat> any clue of what man and kingdom alike at no. this point we only know the elven kingdom which is, is so radically different from yeah. the men yeah. and they're you know well, they're ancient. a lot more spiritual aren't they yeah, 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 like yeah they've been around for so long yeah and men are almost a little bit still barbaric in some of their ways well yeah, yeah. Well, they are, I mean in terms of you know talking about the age of men are very late yeah, yeah. to middle earth oh absolutely yeah. yeah very late the elves were there first and yeah. then the dwarves came yeah and then you know because Rohan are there's a very very long line back to the Northmen mm, yeah. and the Northmen are completely different Rohan are slight you know, what's the word you know what I mean like derived they, Rohan derived from the Northmen a right. long time ago but yeah. even the Northmen were so late to the party yeah. as it were so they, these are meant to be men of the West is that right we, yeah, so yeah 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 okay yeah. but they're yeah. not from Numenor no so no. the Gondorians are from Numenor like yeah. um, Boromir and that line yes, yeah. and Aragorn's line they're, they're a different sort of class and yeah. breed to yeah. these guys yeah. these yeah. guys are uh, you know a lesser sort of breed of men well, the, yeah the Northmen common. are very much the barbaric kind of yeah, yeah. And it comes across the way that, that Rohan, I mean, we haven't, we're, we're in Rohan now, we've not quite met them yet, yeah. but um, they they come across as more Vikings yeah. than, than yeah, exactly. medieval yeah, warriors, yeah. you know? And that's yeah. obviously a deliberate choice. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and yeah, it's just how they live their lives. Then we meet one of my favourite characters, actually. Go on. Aomer. Oh, Aomer. Of course, the Rohirrim arrive. Yeah, they all arrive. Oh, the they get their spears out. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Aragorn has yeah, a little yeah. show. Riders of Rohan! Yeah. What news from the mark? Gimli oh, is not having any of it. Isn't oh, it? Gimli's not having any of it. No. no. What does Aemis say there? What business does an elf, a man, and a dwarf have yeah. in the Ritter Mark? Yeah. Speak quickly. I remember that oh. very well. It's, it's great. And yeah, it, it shows straight away. It's so unusual for these three it, it, yeah. people to be for together, them. these mm. three races to be together. Exactly. And that's why they work so well as well, because it's like the odd couple, but there's three of them, you know? It's the odd trio. That's why it's nice that Aemis has that line. Yeah. It really highlights hardly, it. Well, it's just not seen. Mm. Yeah. An elf, dwarf, and a man just yeah. hanging out together. Especially a dwarf and an elf. Yeah. But I mean, people never see elves anyway, really. They've retreated yeah. into the woods and dwarves into the mountains, you know. But then we. Uh, he does look very cool when he takes his helmet off. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Long. Those, long I mean, head. the design of the costumes yeah. and it's. Oh, the armour. Brilliant. Do you remember the um, extended edition behind the scenes of the armour smiths? Yeah. Oh, making the swords, making the, mm. making the armour, making all the armour for the horses. What unbelievable it job! Is beautifully done. Goodness me! It would have taken years to some yeah. preparation, thought. Oh, there's so many people working at Western. Who's designing yes. armor for a horse? That's a yeah. specific job that someone had. But like, even yeah. when you look at even yeah. when you look at their helmets, you can tell that it's based on a horse. Oh yeah, which it is has that long. Mm. Yeah, mm. AMS. Yeah, yeah. It's a gorgeous thing. They love horses so much, and they're so together. Kind of, I mean, it's kind of slightly Dothraki-ish. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I can see that. And they're very much the horse lords. And more barbaric than the rest of the world. I mean, the Dothraki are much more barbaric than the Rohirrim, obviously. But in terms of the the Rohirrims. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Plains of Rohan and the, um, what's it called in... uh, in Game of Thrones? The sea? The great the great grass sea um, or it's a, it's, Yeah, it's like the grass sea or... I think it is the grass it's sea. It's yeah. something like that, isn't it? Over, the, it is uh, the, over the sea. Which is, like, like Rohan, stupidly yeah. big. Yeah, the home of the and horse lords. nothing there. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what's so... I mean, yeah, Dothraki and Rohan. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? But yeah, so, thought, after that... Yeah, go on. We, they go to Rohan. Right? Well, yeah. no, so we, we find out first that... This group of Rohirrim have just slaughtered the Uruks sure, yeah. and the yeah. Yeah. So straight away, our boys think they're going 
Mary and Pippin. Mary and Pippin, there, Mary yeah. And, Pippin, yeah. and we've got a we great fat fat's fat's coming up. Oh, have we? Go got on. a great fat. So obviously our boys, they take two horses, and our boys go to this, you know, smoking. I always sorry pile to you. Yeah. I always love it that Gimli's on the back of the leg of the house. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so sweet. It's so love good. Love it. But yeah, anyway, they don't like yeah. to ride. They horse. see they see this massive pile of urukai. Yeah. And then you know they find oh, Gimli's line and he goes, "It's one of their wee belts." Oh my oh. god! I'm always like, oh, it's great because he's so shocked. He's yeah. not even sad. He's so shocked. And you've never seen Gimli like this, even with oh, Gandalf. I know the fact that you're about to say yeah. yeah. This so is the, the this is the this is the, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. So obviously, Aragorn's pretty angry. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that. Peter Jackson told him, "Right, you need to." Just kicks on, show your anger. Yeah, and he kicks a helmet, and obviously these helmets are real. Yeah, and well, there was one that wasn't, but they, yeah, yeah, and kicks it, <laughs> and he kicks it, and he does that massive scream, brings his arms knees. up, and falls down, <laughs> and you're thinking, wow, He's that's amazing. Through. Yeah. Until he realised he just broke his toes yeah. <laughs> and stayed in character. Yeah. Oh my god, possibly not. Character. He was probably just going. <laughs> oh, I mean. Great. Oh, so strong stuff. Thanks, bro. <laughs> he's Carry only on. gone. He's doing? only gone, is he? Ridiculous. He's oh, only gone. On yeah, little marker. Um, but yeah, and he carries on, yeah. and that's so. The rest of that scene was done in those two days. Mm. Yeah. And Vigo said, "No, we got to carry on." So yeah, you see, broken, you yeah, see yeah, him do a little limp, and that's why most of the time in that scene he spends on the floor. Oh, there you go. Following the rope. Yeah. Oh, oh, isn't wow. that interesting? Mm. Yeah, yeah I love following that the track. Well. Because oh, I love following the road. Tracking. Peter Jackson yeah. said, oh. we, we can't just have you on your foot. Yeah. You're going to absolutely just destroy yourself and you'll yeah. be out for like a month. Yeah. And he was like, well, let, get me on the floor, let me yeah. crawl and let me find and stuff like that. And oh, it's it's great. Great. Oh, man. There are so many stories man. about like, There's another one about Vigo in this film mm. where he um, broke off a tooth. Mm. And uh, so they could carry on shooting. He super glued it back on. I've heard that. Yeah. And then he Amazing. went off to the to Peter Jackson's dentist, still covered in all the orc blood, <laughs> yeah. because of continuity. And he knew that if it came back uh, and it had been washed off, they'd never get back on looking sure. the same. Oh, so yeah. from shot to shot, it would look completely different. So it wouldn't make any sense. That man is just the he's best. a hero. Again, he's he's dedication. Best hero. That's <clears throat> oh, there's something about this this series of films that inspires that sort of dedication yeah. in its actors. Yeah. It's it's above and beyond yeah. sort of stuff. Wonderful. And then... Uh, but yeah, so we, at this point, we know that Mary and Pippin have... Got well, no, we don't. Well, we know that they've gone into Fangorn, though. And we, do, had... we do after his line, but in yeah. the little scene where the Ro- Rohirrim and the Urukai fight, mm. we see the horse legs rise mm. up, and then, bang, it cuts. Yeah, of so, course. Yeah. Over Pippin, yeah. So at this point, we're like, with them. We're like, oh, God. Until he finds the rope, and he goes... Yeah. Into Fangorn. The binds will cut. Yeah, into Fangorn. <clears throat> and yeah. then... I mean, I never knew what to think of this cut. Because he goes into Fangorn Forest, and then the camera goes yeah. out, lifts, goes into the woods, and then bang, you're with Mary yeah. and Pippin. Yeah, and oh, I like that. I thought it was yeah. a creative cut. Yeah. Very different. Yeah, it's not bad, to be fair. It, it just reminded me slightly of the Star Wars kind of swiped. Edit. Oh, the wipe across, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. But then again, I always love that, so I don't know yeah. why I'm talking about that. That's very it works, distinctive to Star Wars. It, you realise what they were trying to show, so I think that's a good sign. Yeah. You know, we realised it was a, a different scene rather than... Also, you were about to... I just realised what you were doing earlier. What? You said, and then we go to Rohan. You yeah, missed out the biggest moment I of this film. Completely forgot. About <laughs> the, but uh, yeah, I, I realised that. The biggest too. moment of this. Like, film. You were about to I say, and then we go to. Ro- I was thinking, and then, yeah, and then we go to Rohan, right? And I completely forgot about the the forest. Disgraceful. So we go into the forest. Obviously, Mary and Pippin are being followed by this orc because he's an Anurva. Yeah. He's an orc. Yeah. And then well, there's big clashes between their cultures as well. Yeah. Which I mean, that is interesting in itself. Which is so shown in created this film these and shown in the next film as well. Yeah. Yeah. So but, um, he's like um, like treated as the lesser, right? Well, he's from Mordor. Yeah. Yeah. And but the Uruk-hai are like well, the other kind of they're supreme. Yeah. There. And they and they're not afraid the, of the sun or anything like that. They keep yeah. on they're know. the ultimate fighting. Yeah. Merry and Pippin oh. terrified. Of, of course. course. Running. Of course. Through the forest, and he's kind of uh, and then this orc is closer. closer behind. What's the line? I'm going to put her. A oh, maggot hole, hole in your belly. I always oh. thought, oh, oh, that's a heavy line. That's a, yeah, that's a big line. Yeah, I've not thought about that one for a and while. And then suddenly this tree trunk just lifts and <laughs> yeah. bang! Smushes him. And you go, that was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds of that? Yeah, to be fair, so that know. wasn't my first thought. My, my first thought was, what the hell is going on? Yeah. I, just, I actually thought, I remember thinking, 
A tree has just fallen on him. Brilliant. <laughs> So as someone who hasn't read the books, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. And sense. I was quite you know, a tree fell on it. <laughs> and I was quite young, but I know it's not an excuse. <laughs> I was quite young anyway, so I remember thinking, "God's lucky." They're fine. Go for it. <laughs> Run for it. God, are these trees are unstable. Get yeah, out of there. And that's it. They're just leg it. Hey, watch out! Yeah. Yeah. God, we really just got watch out for all in us. <laughs> I mean, that's great. My God. <laughs> He's done his little face again. Yes. Oh, it's horrible face. That face. There. There's nothing wrong with it. No, it's um, very good. Do well you want done. to see that face? It's on the YouTube scene. And then, God. and then, yeah. And then, uh, and then we meet the Ents. Yeah. We meet Treebeard, Fangorn. Tree. Yeah. Who picks them up. Let's take a moment to talk about voices because we're going to talk, we've got to talk about Treebeard. Uh, yeah. Also about the three orcs who have the argument about um, cooking and eating Merry and Pippin. You know who that is? Every single voice is Andy Circus. Oh really? Yep. It's Andy Circus doing voices. It's not. I me, never knew Three stinking days. It's that line. Yeah. Oh wow. That's that's, that's all amazing. Andy Circus. Isn't that unbelievable? Oh, so we didn't talk about that. That it's three. Oh, yeah. That he's doing three voices in the same scene and they're completely distinct. It's amazing. They talk three about, stinking days. They talk a lot about maggots. Yeah. They do. Maggots is a big. What thing. about their legs? Ah, oh, they don't need those. He's got shin splints. They are not for eating. Sorry, I forgot that's about that. <laughs> um, amazing. Yeah. But yeah, so tree, we meet Treebeard, Fangorn. That's a very good... Do you know what? You know somebody as well? What's that? He has a reference to books. Once. Oh, Ooh, just, we have been so blessed today. That's we? why. We're, we're doing all right. <laughs> we're <basically. laughs> You just wait. We're, we're moving. Moving. In. You just but, wait. I'm, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. It's very difficult. But yeah, and then um, Treebeard takes Treebeard. him up and says, I love it when he picks them up with them. Yeah. Like, the white <laughs> wizard shall decide. Yes. And straight away we're all like... Well, it's a Saruman. Saruman. Right? They're yeah. thrown at the feet and you see him from behind, don't you? Yeah. But that's where it cuts there. It's, it's all very mysterious. The issue is, of course, in the trailers, it's revealed that Gandalf is fine. Yeah, that's that the That really thing. irritated yeah, right me. <laughs> I suppose because he's in so much of the film, it's quite hard to hide the yeah. fact that he's alive. But I was yeah. really upset about that. I read the books as well, so I knew that he was alive. But I was like, come on. Yeah. Come on, Pete. What are you up to? I mean, that's a big thing that George R. R. Martin was against, bringing Gandalf back. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's very sh- George R. R. Should have just been left dead. Wow. Like bringing a central character like that back. Yeah. yeah. Just brings the level of hope back to everyone. Yeah, and which Martin's not about that at all. He's Martin's got not no about hope, hope at all. No, <laughs> no, like, no hope is going to finish his book. What I love Go is on. that Treebeard uh, and I'm guessing the other end have no idea what Merry and Pippin are. Yeah. yeah. They are, you know, what's the line when he says, what, um, Little Orc. Yeah. <laughs> we're not Orcs. <laughs> well, oh. So he's saying, yeah. We're not Orcs. <laughs> Sorry. We're not Orcs. <laughs> not Irish, are they? Uh, yeah, I just went We're up. not Orcs. <laughs> we're hobbits. Shire folk. And then he, oh. Halflings. <laughs> <laughs> he never heard of, uh, No. No, he's never heard of it, Ben. Boys, are you ready? <laughs> I've let you off the hook this far. Here's your first book reference. Oh, come on, mate. We haven't got all day. In this, wait, wait, con- if this is a book reference, I'm just going to say this. Uh, <laughs> right, so book reference. In this conversation in the books, Treebeard talks about the song uh, which describes all of the people in the oh, world. He does, okay? yeah. He talks about men, he talks about elves, he talks about dwarves, and he talks about Ents. Yeah. And so in this moment, they write a fifth line for Hobbits. That's what I'm going to say. Awesome. Isn't that interesting? Awesome. They have this Lovely. ancient song which they all know, and That's they amazing. use it like their. This actually makes me think of The Office and uh, the Shroot Rules. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. You've got to learn your rules. <laughs> it's the same thing. The Ents have got the same thing when they're young. This is how they learn about the world by singing these songs. <laughs> I love the way that the Ents have treated themselves as if they are part of, uh, you know, the same category as. Yeah, isn't it funny? Like, oh, this is bizarre. Yeah, they never would think that. They're never arrogant or anything like that. They never right. think of themselves big. Also, I love that you just managed to compare. Lord of the Rings to the, the office, office. <laughs> amazing that that's, is a segue I never that's thought that's incredible yeah. that's Look, incredible I'll, I'll see if I can do it again but um <laughs> we don't try and do it I do find Smeagol <laughs> has corrupted and became God how about you leave the talking references to me it's great Dwight loves it makes sense yeah. Yeah. Um, absolutely but then we see Aragorn give me a Legolas going through yeah Fangorn and they don't like it well yeah. uh, Legolas loves it I love that this forest is old yeah. I love the lower your axe. Oh, yeah. Give me. Lower your axe. Yeah, and he does great. the hand movement yeah. as well. And the head tilt. Yeah. I love that. I love the thought that the trees have this consciousness and they're aware yeah. of what's happening around but, them. And Aragorn knows this. 
Yeah. He understands what's he does. going does on. Does he know that? Well, he doesn't know. No, it's but more he can of a feel it. Feeling, yeah, there's right. a sense. Okay. Yeah, and, and I mean, Legolas isn't worried at all because no. he's, you know he, he knows trees inside out. He's absolutely fine. Yeah. So Aragorn's more thinking it, it could be anything rather than knowing like, that there's it's something anything. off. I don't. I, place. And there are all sorts of rumors about. But I don't anyway. think Aragorn thinks it as a threat. No, mm. he, he Gimli it, obviously does. Yeah, he thinks of more as an interesting thing. Something else is going on in this yeah. forest. Yeah, and he, you know, if you put down your axe, we can find out, we can see what's going on. Yeah, and then, you know, suddenly, um, bam, there's this white light. That's giving it all the white light, yeah. And, you know, Legolas fires an arrow. Ping, yeah, bang. Do not let him speak. Him he throws one of his mini axes. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. Flies off. Forget it. And then, Le- uh, Aragorn's sword just burns in his hand. Yeah, oh, amazing. He has to drop yeah. it. Amazing. I feel like Aragorn felt like he was gonna. He's like, "Don't worry, boys, I got this." And then just doesn't even get close. Yeah, they did more than he did. Yeah, it shows the instant power. We know it's Gandalf, (laughs) exactly. But um, it shows the power that none of them could even get close to touching him. They could do nothing. I they, think I actually remember like not him. knowing it was Gandalf because no. I, I didn't watch the trailer. I, yeah. I was the same. I watched the film before the book, yeah. so I was. Oh, well, there you go. Again. And it's great. And in the reveal, um, in the next part, in whatever he says, they passed this day this way, the day before yeah. yesterday. But they, having Christopher Lee's voice yeah. doubled over in yeah. McCallum, and it, Christopher Lee's eyes as well were mm. digitally superimposed to confuse wow. you in that moment to make you think, "Oh my God, is it Sarah Man? Is it not? Yeah. I don't yeah. know." And uh, we've heard so much about the white wizard, so we're yeah. all like, yeah, this is And that slow fade out, oh. and bam, there he is. And that angelic music. Yeah, I was literally about yeah. that music that goes over the top, and you see mm. all three of them just being like, Can the light thing is incredible. incredible. It's unbelievable. It's so good. It, it's beautiful, the light coming through the trees behind yeah. him. Yeah, and. Um, it looks uh, like an angel. I'll it? reference just one more thing in the books, a quick one. Um, in the, when they're travelling through Fangorn in the books the three of them they camp for the night and an old man approaches them um, and they never see his face uh, and there's, he's sort of haunting them in the books yeah. and it has that feeling of and they don't they still don't know if that was um, Sarah Man or Gandalf when they meet Gandalf he's like well it wasn't me oh, that is terrifying that yeah. is terrifying so it's it, it, obviously it was Sarah Man and he's walking in the forest yeah. as well as Gandalf you know yeah it's just an amazing thought that um, that they were so close to, to they've yeah. been so close to both of them and yeah. finally luckily they've met Gandalf yeah. unbelievable and then Gandalf tells the real story of what happened yeah, yeah. oh yeah 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 we yeah. get the, Which is, the bit after that we and I, I do love in the films that because obviously me knowing all the first Ed and Sessions yeah Edge kind of stuff him falling down after he says that he slayed um the power up, the power up, Zerexigil, and then showing him going out of Middle Earth into this yeah. other kind of world, other dimension, and stuff like that, and that he's been brought back. Yeah, and that's the one bringing him back, saying, "Yeah, you're not done yet. You're not done Still yet. Job to do." And, and also, Saruman is corrupted. Saruman so has yeah. failed me. You're the new one. Yeah, yeah. And then for him to get that power. Yeah, it's so. So cool! Yeah, it's amazing to see all that, and bam, there he is. Brand new stuff. <coughs> and you, brand new stuff. Brand new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Where did the stuff come from? I know he goes to Lothlorien, and, and Galadriel clothes him in white. Yeah. Because yeah. she, you always got the feeling that she knew there was something else going on. Yeah, Gandalf yeah. the Grey has passed to be on my sight. I think she says. Mm. So she never says that he's dead. Um, and yeah, he goes to her for for aid because yeah. they know each other I, obviously I, very well. I, I think it was Galadriel that gave him that. Yeah, I think it must have I think been. So. This is, I mean, you, we don't really know much about the staffs, yeah. really. Gladwell does know more than anyone in yes. this whole yeah. thing. Yeah, literally more than anyone. Yeah, and he comes back naked as well. Yeah, when he comes back, it's which and he is does that little. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. he's back. That, Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. But that's when he's being given Saruman's life. Yeah. Yeah. He's been literally transferred his life force. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Which it's, is just yeah, his place in the order. Amazing. Incredible. Oh, it's fantastic. And it's, I don't know if it's directly why, but it's also kind of why we never see Saruman do any magic in this film. Yeah. Well, he tries to um, contest over Theoden, doesn't he? But he doesn't do, no, you're right, he doesn't do much. Not like in the first film. Yeah, but Um, he's had that hold over Theoden for quite a while. But I mean, when Gandalf comes along and then they're fighting and Gandalf managed to to fling him away. Yeah. I think that's 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 when Saruman realises that he is. Yeah. He's 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 secondary now. Yeah. Gandalf is much more. Yeah, and he's the white. It's also the add of like gunpowder and stuff like that that Salmon brings. I always start mm. to think, okay, he's thinking more. 
you know, in an actual yeah, physical mechanical way. way which, yeah. of course, is is the, the whole point of Isengard as well. Yeah, it? absolutely. It was a beautiful sanctuary of trees, and now he's dug it out and turned yeah. it into a mine yeah. and a pit, and then a horrible thing. It ends them not. Yeah, and the hobbits, of course, hate that as well. It's yeah, in fact, yeah. I mean, that really that that go coin doesn't coincide. It goes along with what Tolkien yeah. was thinking. Hates industry, yeah. loves the old English way, yeah. Yeah. which is very farming and very um, you know basic. Men of the <coughs> land, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly that. And then, oh, and then we go to we do. Rohan. Oh, let's talk about shadow facts. Oh, shadow facts. Surely. When he calls us over shadow facts. Oh, that wonderful whistle. whistle, beautiful whistle. Now that is Ian McKellen's whistle, is it? Oh, I don't know the answer to that. I assume that's Andy that. Serkis whistling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadow I mean, Facts, though, is such a legendary, yeah. not only in the Tolkien universe, mm. but in history. Yeah. Shadow Facts is this horse that's always been in like mythological history yeah, oh, okay. for ages. Interesting. So I always thought that was a beautiful thing that Tolkien brought mm. in, Shadow Facts. Oh, yeah, nicking from other mythologies, absolutely. Yeah, that yeah. he is. You know, he's in charge of the horses. He's the lord of all horses. Yeah. It's, a, oh. it's also it's my go-to name whenever I get to name a horse in the game. As well. Oh, really? Go Shadow Facts. Shadow Facts. Nice. Yeah. They all, oh, yeah. I love the thing of... Yeah, I mean, the horses are so important in this film. We barely had any horses in the first film, yeah. except we for had Bill. riders. We had Bill the pony. Bill was great. Bill yeah. Nye. Go on, Bill. Sorry? Bill Nye. Bill Nye, yeah, yeah amazing. He, uh, he turned out for this. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Paul God. Weller, Bill Nye. Damn you, <laughs> man! Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so he's got Shadow Facts now. They've still got Hartwell, Elrond, yeah. and the two horses. <laughs> and so they ride over the fields. But they don't go to Rohan. They're in Rohan. Rohan. Where do they go to? Oh, to. Do you remember uh, the name of the city? No, um, where the old guy is on the throne. Jesus. What's the old guy yeah. on the phone? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Gandalf, I'll be down there in a minute. <laughs> right, open the gates, lads, he's here, he's here. What, that flag's oh. flying off again? Oh, for God's sake. I've got no signal. Are you on the i got nothing. Where does he, where did they go to? I can't remember the name. Oh. It's the heart of Rohan. I can't remember it. They leave Poor there plan. to go to Helm's too. They do. Well, I mean, he's never going to get it. No. You go, are you going to kick yourself? So it's called Edoras. No, I wouldn't. Do you know what it was called? Do you not know that? Not at all. But you've played like really? Battle for Middle Earth and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I think I just didn't. That, that name doesn't ring any bells. Oh, prior. And do you remember the king's name? No. Oh, oh no! This is on. unbelievable. You, you can't remember. Right, we're holding auditions the king for of eight Re- days a key. Theoden. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, the old now, man. Like that old man on the blow. <laughs> on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> you said he was on the blow, not me. Yes, no, I did say that. That was a real mistake. But we, we go to Rohan. Uh, I do know who he is, though. Um, we go he does to get Edoras. knocked back in his throne, I know that. We go to Edoras. <laughs> very funny. And we know straight away, sum it up. Yeah, what, the flag flying off? The flag flying off. I adore that. Symbolism. I adore symbolism that. to the max. And, and Aragorn sees it. In my head, that was always Rohan bowing down to him. Do you know what I mean? Oh, really? Yeah, and whenever I saw that, I was always, uh, when I saw it for the first time, I thought, oh, okay, right. Because Aragorn is the king of kings. Um, and this, the flag is, is thrown down as they oh, arrive. Oh. How did I, you interpret it? I always thought it was just because Rohan's going downhill. Well, yeah, that's the just thing there. Just there, and he's been banished. Yeah, we've seen Eowyn as well, of course, at this point. Yeah. We have been introduced to her. And in fact, actually, she now sees them coming over. In the extended edition, you, you see um, Eomir get banished. Oh, Before yeah. this. Yeah, you do. And we meet Worm Tongue. Yeah, Wormtongue. What and a there's a beautiful little back and forth for them. Oh, and then Wormtongue banishes him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've completely yes, forgotten. He that. has. He's, but he's basically running this place. Absolutely. Wormtongue. Yeah. yeah. He is. And and he's a pawn of Sansa. Wormtongue is a fantastic character as well because he is from Rohan. Right. He is a man of Rohan. Yeah. Which is shouted out in the next film. Yeah. Which is very interesting. So I never really knew if he had been. I mean, he's obviously been twisted. And Saruman's using him. Oh, absolutely. But kind of foreshadowing that moment on top of uh, the tower in Isengard. Yeah. When he there's a slight realisation and then he murders Saruman. Yeah, well that is interesting. I've always wondered, was he under a spell as well? Or? Well, they always talk about the voice of Saruman mm. um, in the books. And uh, they say that his greatest power is in his voice. And he never loses that. Even when Gandalf becomes the White, he still has that power exactly. to influence Do not people. Let him speak. It's the same as the Imperius them. curse or something like that yeah. in Harry Potter. It's like, oh, how, how much are they under their own control, mm. you know? And Wormtongue is the prime example of that. But Worm, I mean, it's, he's been promised 
ale then. Yeah. I mean, it's disgraceful. That's why Wormtongue's doing it. He's been yeah. promised it. It's quite an adult theme, really, isn't yeah. it? That he's been promised this beautiful woman. Yeah. It's his prize. Yeah. And very medieval and quite yeah. barbaric, exactly. really. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it all fits in quite nicely. But then we go into Edoras and yeah. we see the king and ooh, he's, he's, he's in a bad way. not in a good way. No, no he's good. really not. And Gandalf's there with his grey... Yeah, um, I love that. One. I love that he's still got his cloak on, so that no one knows that he's give, changed. Give us the line that uh, he you says. Have no power here. <laughs> the not, face is out again. That. I wasn't going to say that. Sorry, sorry. I just got um, myself. Where he says a welcome. Oh what well, at the gates? Yeah, he says, um, "Your staff." <laughs> oh, an <laughs> <laughs> old man. That was yeah, 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 I love that. that. It's so good. It's the oh, come on. Yeah, that's oh, very Ian McKellen. And yeah, that, it's perfect. Uh, yeah. That it's ginger, that ginger round. Like yeah. Ooh. Hammer. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, yeah. Why don't we video all of this? Because the faces. <laughs> so you can't much. help but make I, faces. I think uh, one episode at some point we have to film. Yeah. yeah. Then the again, it, and then it was got like 150 gigabytes of that. It's take a while. But um, then, uh, yeah. But yeah, so he he allows them inside, of course. Um, but uh, so in the books, uh, Aragorn's already got Andrew, but he yeah. doesn't here. He's still got his ranger sword, so he doesn't have as much for an issue leaving mm. it aside. Yeah. Legolas leaves the bow, the Galadrim, Gimli, Gimli, um, Gimli. Leaves, <laughs> Gimli. I'm doing an AJ Jenks. Uh, he leaves yeah. his an- he leaves his axe. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Much against his will. You were going to say leave his anchor, weren't you? Oh, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm very tired. Just in case anyone wondered, we do use anchor. <laughs> you too. Thanks, anchor, for all your help. Thanks, anchor, for your amazing streaming services. Thank you. He leaves that uh, that lovely, <laughs> lovely double-bladed axe yeah. of his, and he leaves that behind. And when Gandalf comes in, like you say, he's got his grey cloak on. He also holds his staff in a way that is yeah. not obvious. He, he uses it, it down it by his side. Yeah, as well. he's, yeah. He's getting, yeah. And then it's then it's held down. So yeah. it's and it obviously it's not his stuff they would know. And then it kicks off. It really the does. boys well, Gandalf goes in. Yeah. The boys are like going crazy. They all, back him up. All these yeah. guards start coming in trying to get Gandalf yeah. off. And it's just it's really cool to see a hand to hand combat yeah. fight yeah. in these yeah. films. It's very different. Yeah. And you again you see how great fighters they are yeah. even without their chosen weapons yeah absolutely yeah and then you get the line I told you to take the wizard star yes, <laughs> Wormtongue that. is the one who said yeah. don't allow him in with his star yeah. isn't that interesting because Wormtongue is probably being told by um, Saruman yeah. Is, yeah absolutely yeah. and Hamo makes the decision no yeah. I think I think that his backstory is that he is suspicious of everything that's going yeah. on he doesn't like it and also Gandalf has been I mean he's been there for ages so yeah Theoden knows Gandalf. They've yeah, all they seen all Gandalf, Gandalf before. Yeah. Mm. So there is that kind of friction of yeah. the Rohan guys going, yeah. what is going on? has just been banished. Yeah. Wormtongue is in. Suddenly Theoden is like so slow and Yeah, Ill. he seems much older than he, he, than he was. He dead. Let's and then honest. we get that great f- battle between Saruman, like we were saying, and uh, between Saruman and Gandalf. Yeah. And Gandalf beats him. Through Theoden. Yeah. And I love that that you see Theoden go down and straight away it's split with Saruman yeah, yeah. Oh, he strikes him backwards yeah. and then Saruman is thrown across Brilliant. the floor and he yeah. slides across the floor is he using the palantir at that point um, it looks like he is doesn't it I, I do you remember the sliding sound I do I do it's like <laughs> it's, it's literally a, I don't know if I can make it <laughs> I can't make it <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. But, um, see, we got yeah. sound effects. Isn't that amazing? Thank you but to the bin makers for that. That's <laughs> excellent. <laughs> the bike is set on. Yeah, we're just. The sound man does that look. He doesn't say anything. He just no, does but that he's got face. blood coming down his yeah. nose as well. And you see that face that he, where he realizes. Yeah. Whoa. He looks scared, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. He looks afraid. Which is probably the first time. It is the first time we've ever seen it. And Saruman looking realizes, I think personally, that. He realizes what exactly has happened. That Gandalf's been sent back. He doesn't have the power anymore. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Gandalf's taken this power. It's become a lot more powerful, and I think that's another budge to him to march the army to yeah. get it all going. Right. To yeah. Move to double down. down essentially, yeah. you because could either back off or he yeah. just goes for it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and then we meet the real theatre. Yeah. And stuff like that. The makeup's amazing. His. Um, I feel like I did my line too early, and now it just has no place. Which what line? line? You have no power here, Gandalf the Grey. No, that was before. That was no, before. it's when you said then we meet the real... Th- yeah, the real after, th- after he's been released from the... Yeah, he didn't I mean, say that then, did he? I said it too early... And oh, then I, oh I, see. I mean, time. now you're saying it too late. You missed the I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I, I told him about the spell. And then he goes, ah! Oh, and he gets naked, and <laughs> then he's like, oh, he doesn't oh, get naked. He gets naked. 
I was. You think about Gandalf? I think I watched the porn version. Oh my god! Can we keep that in? Yeah. It's supposed to be shows, but, but Actually, I want no, you all we, to no, know we that. We shouldn't keep that in. We shouldn't keep that in. I mean, it's such it's a, a dodgy mate. subject, really. I'll well, make the do call a, in do the a cut. marker. <laughs> do a marker. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. So he takes off his uh, grey thing. And then yeah, well, the, the CGI. He's not naked. His face. He's not naked. Say, what? Why would you bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. He, um, the, the CGI, his face um, loses its Am- Amazing yeah. CGI. I love that. CGI. It's great CGI. It's another one of those ones that you don't question, you know? Yeah. And, that, and he's that's lost that milkiness in his eyes. What's so good about oh, yeah, Lord of the Rings? He's like blind, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Lord yeah, of the Rings like hardly uses cataracts. any CGI. They use a lot of props and actual... Yeah. yeah. Well, you say that, but Gollum is Gollum. in this film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, they really make it actually, up right But CGI isn't... You only realise CGI is CGI when a whole film is based on CGI. Mm, yeah. mm. Hence, yeah. the Attack Battle of the, of the Five Armies, Attack yeah. of the Clones. You're like, okay, all of this is too much. Yeah, it doesn't feel right, right, does it? Yeah. But if you've just done a scene, literally, in a wooden building, yeah. and you believe yeah. this spell is going on. And, and that was like, makeup on his face as well. Yeah. That wasn't CGI at And let's all. be honest, can you imagine if Gollum was played by a real actor? Yeah. How ridiculous yeah. would that be? I'm sure it was one of the issues. Tolkien thought it could never yeah. be filmed. I'm sure it was one of those yeah, issues. Definitely. This creature that's been corrupted for like thousands of years, yeah. you know. Yeah. It just couldn't happen. But uh, but yeah, we meet Theoden. Yeah. Bernard Hill. Oh. Who I'd seen in Titanic. Yeah. Captain. 97. Amazing. Oh, oh yeah. Wonderful like actor. Not the first choice for Theoden, interestingly enough. Mm. But can you imagine anyone else doing it now? Mm. Oh my god. He's just iconic. Theoden's a beautiful character because mm. he. What I love is that there's a slight. He knows he's kind of flawed. I, I, you're absolutely right. There's I a love path that. Him. He knows he is not an incredible king. He calls himself a lesser king. Yeah. Like a lesser son of great fathers or something yeah. like that. It's, oh, what an amazing Richard. place to start as an actor. Well, it's because he's, I mean, what kills him is that he wakes up out of this spell and he blames himself for that, mm. almost, you can kind of tell. And he wakes up to find out that his son is dead. Theodred, oh. yeah. But he's been to told grave. as well. Mm. Yeah, um, of course. Because Eowyn tells him um, while he's still under the spell yeah. and he doesn't react at all. Yeah. No, he doesn't know. Your son is dead. Oh, yeah. Miranda Otto. Water under the bridge. Beautiful one. <laughs> no as well. problem. Wonderful actor. Terrible in War of the Worlds. So. Oh, I don't remember in War of the Worlds. Yeah, she the Tom the Cruise mom. one. Yeah, she played the mom. Did she? Yeah. How amazing. Mm. Oh, I always think that I haven't really seen her in much. I did see War of the Worlds, though, but I just don't remember. Yeah. Maybe that's but, that's why. <laughs> but she's great in this. Yeah. She's fabulous in this. But, yeah, Theoden always has... I mean, I'd love to talk and talk about Theoden. Oh, it's wonderful. Because I think it's such a good character, but then... He He's says, lost his son as well. He says that great line that no man should bury. No oh, parents yeah. should have no, to bury their child. Yeah. I Which, think about that an awful lot. Yeah. Still, it always yeah. tears me up when oh I watch that. Because that's such it's a... so real. How many people just could relate that line? His yeah. acting oh, as well. That makes me think that, that there's a reason that line is in there, and it's because uh, Bernard Hill met a woman who had lost their child and told him all about it, and so he told Peter Jackson that line should be in there. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Really? Otherwise, that line wouldn't so have been that's there. That's a true that's thing that it's inspired by. Yeah, it. yeah, absolutely. And so, uh, instantly, you, that's such a relatable line because, of course, it's not in the books. Mm. Um, although Theodred is dead, as we know in the, in the books, that's that's yeah. all factual. But yeah, that line was inspired by a real life conversation that he had with someone. Right. It affected him so much. I mean, it's just, it, it, I think he blames himself again yeah. for his death. Yeah, yeah definitely. Absolutely. Because he just wasn't there, and he's not been a strong king. Yeah, at all. He got easily manipulated, and you know got put a spell on and stuff and that was that's just kind of what happened to him for ages yeah, yeah. and then yeah. for years and he woke up and found all of this going on yeah and, you know his, his acting on that um, line is perfection that's because beautiful. he doesn't do anything big some actors would be like you know no man should have to be yeah the oh, classic well, no, but, no, but he's very simple he's so in shock and in awe and then he just you can see that the tears and everything yeah. just break him. Yeah. Just so emotional. And Ian McKellen, standing next to him, yeah. is beautiful because he's listened to every single yeah. syllable yeah. that Theoden says and sees the harm. But the problem with, not the problem, but the difference with Gandalf the White is that he doesn't have the same emotional capacity. You're right. He's not as, as human as Gandalf yeah. the Grey. So you don't, see him like Gandalf the Grey would have consoled him would have yeah. tried to sort it out but already at this point Gandalf is talking about mm. the threat that's coming yeah, yeah. He's, he's like we need to move yeah it's difficult uh, Gandalf the Grey is a lot of people's 
favourite over Gandalf yeah. the White. It's, it's Ian McKellen's It is, isn't it? It's sweet. He, yeah. he, he doesn't like Gandalf him. the White. He's, he's like a... Well, not as much, anyway. He's like so, a, a grandparent, isn't he? Can yeah. we also yeah. mention... The White he's more mischievous and... Omnipresent. Can we also well. mention um, Owen's song? Oh, Jimmy. yeah, but she sings in Floods of Tears. <laughs> yeah. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? I've always laughed at that scene. Have you? Like, it's a bit awkward. I think only a couple... It's just... No! No! <laughs> I was going to say Johnny no. Cash last of it, but the I least sympathetic no. man I've ever met in my life. But like, she's so sad. Yeah. But like, it, it always kind of makes me giggle. But I mean, the whole, giggle. the whole, yeah, it does. Dreadful. I'll be honest. Dreadful then. But um, and yeah, and then after that, bam, we are left now with the threat. Yeah. Of Saruman. And Gandalf is trying and trying, saying that we should get Aomer back. We yeah. should make a stand here mm-hmm. at Edoras. He does, never mentions Helm's Deep or anything like that. says we should make a stand here. And Theoden goes completely against what Gandalf says. Yeah. Which, you know, you see Gandalf get, you know, angsty. He gets moody. He doesn't like what they're doing. Yeah. And um, and he's decides to... Yeah, to go and hide, essentially, yeah. in the mountains. Because they all think that Helm's Deep is, is their last great stronghold. It's never been breached, yeah. etc. It's never fallen to foes. Whereas um, Edoras is exposed. Yeah. I mean, the location for Edoras is absolutely astonishing. When we yeah. talk about Helm's Deep, what's the actual name of the castle? I mean, that's quite niche, really. Oh, come it's hard on. To know. I, I know really we're doing know. a Lord of the Rings play- podcast, so we should if really know. If he's played the games. Yeah. Oh, it's the Hornberg Massacre. It's the Hornberg. Yeah, I, I, that rings a bell. There oh, you go. Fair enough. Fair that enough. Does yeah, that you can't really go there. there. But, yeah, and then they decide to leave. Yeah. And by order of the king, this city is too empty. And they're leaving, you can. And off they go. And, and they're all uh, terrified as well. Yeah. And in fairness, it's like um, if we draw the reference to the Lannister train, which is attacked by the dragons, mm. if the orcs suddenly found them on the road, they'd be in big trouble. Mm. Yeah. Big, definitely. big trouble. All the women and children are there. It's mm. very dangerous. It's unbelievably dangerous. And it's a long way to Helm's Deep as well. Yeah. Oh, ages. Yeah, so far. And it's going towards Isengard, mm. I think I'm right in saying. So even more dodgy, you know. And they also. They're roaming wildly over Rohan. Yeah. They're essentially in their own control. They're not being stopped yeah. by anyone. Yeah. I mean, Aomer's knocking about with the Rohirrim, but, you know, they can't be everywhere at yeah. once. And we see the beautiful Saruman is with Wormtongue. Yeah, Wormtongue, Wormtongue is coming. He gets chucked out. Yeah, yeah. And that's when... down the stairs. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, great. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's great, isn't it? Theoden chucks him down the stairs. What, do you, what yeah. do you think of the line that Aragorn says to uh, Theoden? Oh, which line? Uh, too, says, much too much blood has been, blood has been spilt. spilt. Yeah. On, yeah, on his... Yeah. Um, See, I remember that, but I don't remember the name of the... It's... Uh, it, again, it's quite a kingly thing to say, isn't it? It's interesting. He's stepping outside of the field for revenge, because Theoden at that point is mental. Yeah. He's really he's going for him. And he's got his sword back, of course, his beautiful sword. I always yeah. like that his sword ha- uh, handle matches his beard. Yeah. yeah. Do you notice that? Yeah. Well, it's kind of Wonderful. slightly heart-shaped as Beautiful. well, isn't it? Yeah. What's amazing yeah. is that Aragorn is uh, showing more of his king side as well and teaching this other king how to um, be there is There is a part of that, to be fair, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so when he's when he's greeted with Aragorn, it's, it's, it's like this guy's teaching him how to be yeah. a king, almost. Isn't yeah. it funny? And yet he's not acknowledged he's not, as... You're not a king at all. No, he's not a king. And Theoden's been king for he years, is, but... Deep down, you know. Yeah, on that, that, that innate starts level. starts to show, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's quite amazing. But, but it's, yeah. It's beautifully done. And then, so yeah, they leave leave to Helm's Deep. Gandalf yeah. says, I'm off. We don't know where he's going. Yeah, Gandalf disappears. And says the, the famous line. He didn't say, I'm off. I'm going to shoot off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shoot off. <laughs> Stop this! <laughs> no, just, just you'll see me when the light comes up yeah, on the yeah, bloody yeah, fourth yeah, morning yeah, of the fifth, yeah, 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 the twelfth like the the eagle of the, the morning. Just did you I mention have. eagles there? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't talk about them. No, 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 leave, leave them completely alone. Have you but, seen the Hobbit? But then, <laughs> so yeah, and then that's kind of that main story and then we get the third act really of Rohan that comes after we do I mean we, we need, need to catch up with Frodo exactly. and Sam we need to jump over now <laughs> sounded emotional you did didn't we need you to jump over to Sam and Frodo yeah, which are on their the, journey they've walked through in the, in the, in the, they've met Gollum we've talked Gollum. about Gollum we haven't talked about their meeting with Gollum we skimmed over it's Gollum. not good is it I mean no it's not they're, they're all very Gigs suspicious <laughs> Gollum is after the ring obviously yeah. 
And uh, Frodo. He's not letting it on though. He's being very uh, secretive to the fact. That I mean, well, well yeah, Fro- so Frodo's Frodo except like, initially when he attacks. Yeah, him. well, yeah, but I mean, Frodo like, knows. He says that he's going, told him. He says that. Yeah. Is this the bit where he says that he's going to guide them? Yeah. yeah. What? Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Early on, um, after well, he's attacked, Fro- them. Frodo decides that he will be the guide. Yeah. It's because, and then Smeagol says, "I swear on the precious idol." Yeah, yeah, he uses the power of the ring essentially. Yeah, well, the, the, the you know the power that it has within Smeagol's mind, rather yeah. than his actual power. He never puts it on in this film, anything. And Smeagol's, I think, is quite clever and realizes, well, okay, I've got to play the slow game. With yeah, this. I'm always going to be with the ring, mm. but I'm going to have to find a time. Yeah, and he's afraid of Sting, Frodo's sword, because yeah. that's the only thing that cows him in the in the beginning. Yeah. What are you looking at? <laughs> so I thought you, <laughs> I thought you were having a reaction to me. Mm. His face is going red again. Is it? No, man. Yes, I'll wipe it then. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we've we kind of gone through uh, Smeagol's leading them. Yeah. Straight away, Sam doesn't trust Smeagol. No, at oh all. my god, no. Frodo puts up with him and tolerates him, but yeah. Sam thinks they should get rid of him. Cannot do it. What does he say? He should tie him up and leave him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he's cool. dead against it. Cool. Um, Frodo kind of has that slight compassion that Gandalf yeah. the Grey had. Yeah, and yeah. he knows that. that Gollum Smeagol is connected to the ring. Mm. And what's quite interesting is that to actually get the job done, mm. you need someone like Gandalf the White. That's why he's come back as the what he know that character will get the job done, whereas Frodo still has that compassionate. Side. Yeah. Okay, do you reckon Frodo feels that uh, Gollum's a bit familiar because he doesn't know that he was well, once a hobbit, but do you reckon there's that kind of he doesn't essence know- there where he might feel that he's a bit I'm sure. They, they, he knows that they share a connection between the ring. That the sure. ring, it, the ring has done that to him, and he wants to make sure. And it's supposed it's kind of a reminder to never let the ring do that yeah. to him. But it's yeah. never Dominating said that Gollum like... was a hobbit, is it? No, it's, no. But no, Frodo so. knows that he was once called Smeagol. Yeah, yeah. They say that it was one of the river folk. The, the, the yeah. The, I'm not. I can't remember when that when that is said, but it said something. He, kn- he knows that this isn't. Originally, what no, he no, like what he, he was, was a normal person who has been yeah. corrupted. Because Gandalf has filled him in on some, yeah, yeah, some of him, and I think again it was that line in Moria that Gandalf says to Frodo about Gollum, mm. like, could you do it? Oh um, yeah, and all that bit. I think he's always got that in his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah deal out. Do not be too quick to deal out death and judgment exactly. and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Whereas Sam straight away wants to yeah. leave him or kill him. Yeah, yeah and that Frodo. shows Frodo's learned quite a lot and yeah. has, has grown quite a lot, whereas Sam obviously hasn't, you know. And Sam's extremely protective of Frodo. Oh, so yeah. absolutely. He and knows he, everything's a threat. He knows his job. Yeah. And Gollum is a murderer. Gollum is 100% yeah, a murderer. Yeah, first hand of just sitting, yeah. as soon as they meet him. I think yeah. Gollum at some point in the past has taken a baby out of the crib and drunk its blood. I think that's oh. actually a thing that's happened. That might be in Lord of the Rings Online, but it's definitely a thing that's happened. Um, somewhere in the appendices. Who left their baby around Gollum? No, that he came Who into someone's house. And oh, right, I see. They didn't call him in as the babysitter, did they? <laughs> Man looking That's after. That's the title. <laughs> <laughs> Gollum the babysitter. <laughs> Horrible. But yeah. So he's a talk, monster. He's are you monster. sure you're going to be all right with him? <laughs> yes. It's a bit of a handful. <laughs> Awful. Are you sure you're going to be alright? <laughs> Look, it can be a bit loud sometimes, Gollum. Don't worry about it, okay? Just <laughs> feed him, burp him. Yeah, make sure he drinks it. something. Yeah. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Mm? Oh, <laughs> now, there's a thought. That's Danny LaRue coming up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so, and then we go on that little journey. It's just more yeah. getting to know. Gollum and yeah, because he does lead them out of the the Emin Will, which is good. Yeah, and Thank leads goodness. them into the marshes. Yeah, and he said, yeah, he thinks that's going to be a better way to go. Yeah, and he takes them through the marshes, where the battleground of that. Yeah, um, the last battle. alliance. Yeah, yeah, the last the alliance last battle. It's absolutely it's PTSD terrifying. just from thinking about. It. Yeah, and yeah. we see the souls that were lost oh, in the water. The, the I found faces. that the most terrifying part of the whole film. Mm. Oh, definitely. Um, by, by far. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's by, very, absolutely by far. Very scary. And the eyes know. open when Frodo looks in. Yeah, yeah and the, the problem is is that because you've watched so many films that have happened, like, as soon as you see that, you're like, I know those it's eyes gonna are going to be open. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's always going to happen. And then it is a way. jump scare. And you're still 100% scared and shocked that it's happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. But, terrifying. Um, yeah, and then we kind of go on to where they're going kind of around Gondor. Uh, you alright Chris? How you doing mate? Sorry Chris has just yeah. jumped on his phone here. Do you bored mate? Are you up to? Are you boring? No no it's fine. You're boring you are No honestly you're, you're doing really good I was just looking something up. Okay yeah. What'd you look up then? Oh no. What we've got, got to tell us? Maybe some book references for later. <laughs> just wait. 
Just but, wait. Sorry, where have we got to? But yeah, so we get to the fantastic taters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, my impression isn't much better than yours. To no, be fair. no, no, we're quite on the same level. So what? Well, hang on. So we've got to the Black Gate. Have we talked about that? Wait, we're in the marshes. All oh, right. Okay, fine. We're still, we're still in the marshes. Well, I thought he'd thrown the ring in. <laughs> the, eagle, the eagles have picked them up now and they've gone out. Don't mention the eagles. How many times? Great band there. Uh, we got to the marshes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going through the marshes. Don't follow the lights. <laughs> oh, it's great. Frodo falls in. Yeah. Amazing. Gets He's dragged dead. down. Look, I'm just catching oh, up. But the big, the big thing. Go on. The big thing about that, who saves him? Yeah. Go on, drags him out. Is he yeah. saving um, Frodo or is he saving the ring? ring yeah. Is he? I think he he's went for the ring. I think just... he's saving Frodo. I think he knows to play the long game. Do you think so? What well, do you good. think it's Smeagol? Because Smeagol is. Oh yeah, there's, 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 good there's yeah, this yeah. constant back and forth Two between parts. them. He's got this... running, yeah, well, I mean, essentially, yeah, that is it. And we've already been introduced to this at this point. Yeah. These yeah. two different characterizations. And of, how amazing okay. is it the camera angles when? It's great. He, just, he turns his head one way and he turns his head the other way. Yeah. It's different. And yeah, you completely believe it. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, it's very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. It's it's the next level of that CGI thing because it's. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's done. That so it can well. be so distinctive is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Quite amazing. Yeah. yeah, so uh, he, he's pulled out of the marshes. Yeah. He's a, he's a bit wet. He's a bit wet. It's, it looks awful. So, yeah, they are heading to the Black Gate. Uh, yeah. Out of the marshes. The and Marana. we get to the um, to the Black Gate. Yeah. And they slip and slide down. And they see other armies going in, don't they? Yeah. They see the, the, um, the Haradrim. Yeah. Yeah, and moving the rocks in. rocks are tumbling as he's falling. Yeah. Down. And I love that as well, is that the Eastlings are just men. Yeah, they are. But even men are on the side of Sauron now. Yeah, they're being asked to, uh, or they're being, you know, summoned by Sauron, and they're saying, "Yeah, all right, yeah, it's going to be all right." Yeah, no problem. And uh, terrifying. He pays well. Frodo yeah, goes okay. for it. He's thinking, "Right, we've got to do it. We've yeah. got to do it." He's just planning to dash in just before it yeah. closes, and then what are you going to do? Like, his leg like it not hundred miles to the mountain. Join in, like, oh, who are you? <laughs> 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 Just legging it through. Yeah. He wants to. He wants to tag in on the end of the line. Yeah. As if no one would notice. <laughs> yeah. There's two little people, three little people coming through. Just look down. Don't want to yeah, see it's it. Boys, fun. look down. Just look down. Yeah. Right. Normal. Oh, it's just crazy. Get on my shoulders. The <laughs> design of the Haradan as well is so good. Yeah. I get love completely them. different feel. Yeah. Than, than every other, every other that is the race east, that we've seen. The east. Yeah. Of Middle Earth, which hardly ever gets mentioned. No, it's true. So it's when, true. We, when we see it, we're like, okay, well, this is a completely different zone. It's something I hope that the TV show delves into a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I love that. You know, because it's absolutely fascinating. What lies that way? We don't know. Mordor is the limit for us. Yeah. Again, the gate, which is all oh, CGI. No, it's not. It's a, it's a miniature. Mm. It is? Mm. Yeah. I yeah. presume That's it's all miniatures. No, all, no, no. all of Mordor and Isengard as yeah, well. And Helm's Deep. They so, call them so uh, it helps. So but they were bigotures oh, because they were big. But so they were in front of a green screen, right? Who? What? For, uh, anyone that was walking through the gate, they would have. Oh, been it would have been um, a melded green together. Screen. Yeah. And then it melded together like a melted. But what, melded. Was, what I meant to say was that it doesn't feel like. It. I mean, if it was real, that black yeah. gate, it looks amazing. Oh yeah. And, um, it's a beautiful thing. It's a horrible thing, though. Really, really horrible. And being yeah. moved by the cave trolls. Do you know what I mean? But like the whole of that area, to me, because it's all black, it looks sticky. Now, does that sound sticky. weird? Sticky. It does. Well, it like looks... treacle. No, yeah, but like, uh, like dried blood. Oh wow! I that's get like that oh, feeling really from it, and I yeah. always have since I was younger. And I, like as if so many bloody battles had been there yeah. and had been spilled on in that area. I always got that feeling. I don't know why. Well, this is the first time we've seen Mordor. Yeah, it is. And this is a close, close up. Yeah. Like yeah. Although the, it's the border of Mordor, of course. Yeah. yeah. Mordor is a very like the Eastlings going in. It's all very different. Yeah. We've very been, alien. We've been going through the marshes and we've been in Rohan. Which is all you know, lush green plains going yeah. on. And Fangorn ages. as well. We've got yeah. to go back to Fangorn yeah, at some point. Yeah. Talk about Treebo. Um, oh god, yeah, Treebo's going yeah. on as well. But we'll um, about that next. Yeah, it's all, it's all very different. Again, yes, amazing yeah. world building by Tolkien. Yeah. To invent all yeah. these different places. Yeah. yeah and to take so these dis- inspirations. Distinguishable as well from one another. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, they're all. But yeah, it's just amazing world building to see all these yeah. different places, to see what industry is here. Yeah, yeah. It's dark and it's destroying the land. They're not growing anything or anything yeah, like that. It's really it's corrupted, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it really is. 
the but, art department, the, the design is just yeah. it's beautiful to differentiate. But yeah, that uh, that will have to be our yeah. stoppage. I think we can easily do this in two parts. No. I think we Four can. parts. I, I, I'm, no. I'm quite confident in two parts. Yeah. We might be able to do it We two, have actually. covered a lot. To we have. Two we parts. Have. There's, there's a few gaps that we need to go so over. So we've, yeah. we've got to the Black Gate. We've got to Fangorn. We haven't really seen what Mary and Pippin are up to. No, we'll talk about that. But um, And about we've got days. to where they have left for Helm's Deep. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, closing I, thoughts? I'd say pretty much halfway through the movie. Um, <laughs> closing thoughts is that everything in this film so far has been so interesting. Mm. And there hasn't been a... For me, personally, watching, I, I, I didn't find a dull moment as of yet. Is this your favourite one, do you think? I, this is... Uh, you know what? It, it's always been my favourite, but... I tie it with Return of the King. Oh, really? Yeah, it's on a tie now, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I tie it. I've, got a, I've still got I've forgot so many things that you guys have brought back and yeah. that have reminded me of it. That that's I was exactly, like, oh my God, that's exactly what it does. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking earlier. I was like, I forgot how amazing yeah. this film is. Yeah, it's, it's astonishing. That is a middle film as well, a yeah. sequel. Yeah. It's just out of this world. It's the Empire Strikes Back film. It is. Yeah. It just, the middle film is the most important out of the trilogy. Yeah, yeah. oh my God, yeah. The bridge. Mm. Yeah. But I, I mean, I'd still say Return of the King is my favourite, but this film just has so much in it. It's yeah. so meaty. Yeah. It's the lovely thing about it is that even if one is your favourite, the other two, are, you know that the other two are still great and you would exactly. happily sit down and watch them exactly. again and again. Exactly. What about you, Chris? I've still fellowship. Mm. Still, still fellowship. But this is a, a the, the films, all of them are a work of art. Yeah. That they got the middle film so right blows yeah. my mind. Yeah. I think yeah. it's astonishing. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much. You've tuned into Eight Days a Geek. If you're listening on YouTube, please subscribe, like, and give us a comment back to see what you think. Um, if you listen to on the, the other platforms, then give us a follow or subscribe. And thank you very much for sticking with us. Thank you to everyone uh, that's been listening so far. Lately, our numbers have been growing, mm. which has been fantastic. Our views have been growing, and we're getting more and more listeners. If you're really enjoying it, please keep spreading the word. Please keep telling everyone. Um, sorry, I've got to warm up my voice. Oh, yeah, fuck on in a minute. So, uh, yeah, please tell everyone about how darn good this is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, I mean, we'll probably mention this in the, uh, the next podcast, but we popped out a poll whether people enjoyed Return of the Jedi or The Two Towers and we have the answers for you. Mm -hmm. But next up at the end of the week will be Star Wars The Return of the Jedi. Oh, yeah. Great which, is, which will be a big one. We're finishing our a trilogy. First, yeah, exactly. Our first, first finish the trilogy. final. Yeah. And wow. then we will be moving on to... Well, Return of the King, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Return of the King. Yeah. So, thank you very much. I've been AJ Jenks. I've been Ben Pryor. And I've been Chris Weeks. And that's been... That's been us. Right, we got to work on that end. That's a uh, shut up. He's getting there. That's been us from eight days a geek, and you've been you. Why they they know that? They know that they are there. I thought that was a better ending. It's a better ending than what we usually do. Thank you and good night. And I'll go on then. Do it then. Thank you and good night. And I'll do a theme tune. You know we've got a theme tune. Have we? Yeah. I've never listened to him. Thank you and good night. I got nothing but love, babe. Eight days a key. I ain't got nothing but love, babe.